Knees wide, toes touching, forehead on the mat, hips sinking towards your heels. Your arms can be out long or they can be next to your body or in any position that feels good to you. Just starting to bring your mind into this moment. Trying to focus on the present time, on how your body feels, noticing your breath, and letting any other thoughts just wait until the end of your practice. Feeling your connection with the earth and letting that really ground you down. Maybe doing a body scan, starting at the top of the head and working your way down. Noticing any areas of tightness or pain, and then being mindful of those areas during your practice. Bring your focus to your breath. Feeling the belly rise and the ribs expand with the inhales. And the exhales, just release some tension. Let your body become a little softer. Sink down a little lower. And on your next exhale, taking your hands over to the left, reaching as far as you can, feeling a stretch in the right side of the body. Try to push that right hip down to get a bigger stretch. On an inhale, coming back through center. And on an exhale, taking it over to the right. Inhale, come back through center. Take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, squeeze your palms together, and then start straightening your arms and maybe even lift them up towards the ceiling. And releasing the hands back towards the top of your mat. Inhale, come up to tabletop. Take a few cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, raise the chin. Exhale, arch the back, put the chin. 
going with your breath. One more round. Coming back to neutral. Inhale, raising your right hand. And then exhale, thread it through, come down onto your right shoulder. On an inhale, using your left hand, pushing yourself up, right fingertips rise, and set it down. Inhale, left fingertips rise. Exhale, thread it through, come down onto the left shoulder. On an inhale, using your right hand, pushing yourself up, let fingertips rise and set it down. Take some organic movement, whatever feels good. Maybe side to side, forward and back, circles, head circles, stretch the wrists. Coming back to neutral. From here, walk your hands out as far as you can take them. And then slowly start to drop your chest down, coming into puppy dog pose. So your chest may touch down to the mat, maybe it doesn't. But really just try to sink your heart down towards the mat. Doing stretching your upper back. On an inhale, slowly coming back up, coming back into that tabletop. On an inhale, right leg goes straight out behind you, and left hand comes forward, finding your balance. Pull your belly button in, nice long spine. Exhale, release it down. Take it to the other side. Inhale, left or yeah, left leg, right arm. Reach with the fingertips. Push with your heel. Exhale, set it down. Back to the other side, right leg, left arm. On an exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Keep going. Three more. When you finish the last one, come out to that reach. Find your length. And then if you want, you can bend the back knee, reach back for that foot. And if you have hold of the foot, you can kick into the hand, let the shoulder roll back. Releasing, setting it down. Coming to the other side, left leg, right hand. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Three more. Good. 
finishing long. And then if you want, bend the knee, reach back for the foot. If you have the foot, maybe a kick into the hand. Let the shoulder roll open. And release. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, push back down, dog. Take some time. Settle up your feet. Maybe spread your feet wide and bend your knees a few times. That can feel good. Sometimes when you take your feet wide, it takes a little of the stretch out of your hamstrings. If you have tight hamstrings, sometimes that can feel good. Make sure your fingers are spread wide, your shoulders are engaged. You're letting your head hang heavy. And then coming to stillness in your down dog. Inhale, come forward to a high plank. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward, two deep breaths. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward, two deep breaths. Exhale back. One more time. Inhale forward, two breaths. Exhale, push back down. Uh, inhale, walk your hands up to meet your feet and just fold forward. <laughs> maybe bending the knees, maybe rocking, swaying, grabbing the elbows. Feeling the back of the legs, those hamstrings starting to stretch. It's one of the tightest areas in most bodies what prevents us from getting deeper in almost any pose. And then releasing the hands down. Inhale slowly, coming up to standing, reaching up, looking up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Close your eyes for a moment. Send yourself or someone else a kind thought. Opening the eyes, inhale, reach back up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank, and take your option, either a chaturanga, to cobra, to down dog, or just push back to down dog. Always the option to take chaturanga on your knees, like I did also. Inhale, walk or float, top of the mat. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Take your right hand and hold on to your left upper arm. So like the, your forearm comes behind your head. You're holding on to like your tricep on your left side. Then reach your left arm up as high as you can and then start to press it towards the right. Using that right hand to pull your right arm a little further. Inhale up through center, switching it out. Right arm goes long, left arm reaches behind your head towards to your tricep of your right arm. And then reach your right arm up, pull over to the left. When you use that left hand to pull on the right arm, you can feel a bit more of a stretch in that right side of the body. <laughs> Inhale, come up through center, both arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lift your hands, step back, take your flow, or push back to down dog.
Inhale, walk or float, top of the mat. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. The cactus, your arms. Pull your elbows back, squeeze your shoulders together, open your chest, and then ground down through your feet. Pull up on your kneecaps, pull your belly button in, and if you want, come into a slight back bend. Inhale, slowly coming back up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, taking your option. <clears throat> One more, inhale, walk or float. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, take your flow. Your down dog, take a few deep breaths. Inhale, right leg rises, bend the knee, open the hip. Lifting that left knee, really opening the hips. Maybe you can even stack one and then try to bring your chest back square to the back. Straightening your legs, step it forward between your hands. High lunge, so stay up on the ball of the back foot. Lift up. Sink down into that front knee. Strong back leg, lift your back heel as high as you can. Left hand comes down to the mat. Right hand opens up, coming into a twist. Drop your left knee down, untuck your left toes. Coming into a low lunge, keeping that twist. And then if you want, you can bend the left knee, try to reach back for that left foot with your right hand. Twisting and stretching the quad. Releasing the foot. Coming back to face the top of your mat. Coming all the way up into your low lunge. Sink into the front knee. Both hands come down to frame that front foot. Push back into runner's lunge or half splits. So you're trying to straighten the front leg here. You can have your toes pointed or flexed. If the front leg is straight, then you can start to fold forward over it. You're feeling another big stretch in the back of the leg. Pushing back forward in that right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. Step the left foot in a little bit. <clears throat> toes turn out to the side about 30 degrees. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten both your legs and then square your hips to the top of the back and then fold forward into pyramid. Maybe hands come to the shin, maybe to the floor. Bending your right knee, take your left foot, Step it towards the back of your mat and turn it parallel to the back of your mat. And then come on up into a warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse reach back. And come forward into an extended side angle. Your forearm can come to your thigh or your hand can come to the floor or if you have a block. Try to stack your shoulders. <clears throat> Hips are open to the side. Sinking into that front knee. Taking your right hand, bring it in front of your right foot. Now we're gonna step up into half moon. Take as many movements as you need to get there. Left 
when it comes down to meet the right, go forward, pedal out your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, take it slow, heavy and down dog. Inhale, left leg rises, bend the knee, open the hip. Again, trying to square the chest, but keep that hip open. Straighten the legs, step it between the hands, lift that right heel up, come up into your high lunge, lift that back heel. Front knee is going towards the third or fourth toe. Tailbone is tucked, belly button pulls in. Right hand comes to the mat, left hand opens up, coming into that twist. Stacking the shoulders. Drop your right knee, untuck your right toes, low lunge with a twist. <clears throat> then if you want, bending your right knee, this time reaching back with your left hand. Ugh, this side is so much harder. Coming into that twist with the quad stretch. Ugh. Releasing the foot if you have it, coming up into your low lunge. Both hands come down to frame your front foot. Push back into runner's lunge, half splits. Straightening that front leg and maybe folding over it. Keeping the hips high. Pushing forward into that left foot. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Step your right foot in a little bit. Toes turn out to the side. Halfway lift, straighten both legs, square your hips, and then fold forward. Come into whatever level feels comfortable for your body. Bending that left knee, taking your right foot towards the top or the back of your mat, parallel to the back of your mat, and then come on up into your warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse reach back, and come forward, extended side angle. Make sure you don't sink into your shoulder, push up out of that arm if it's on your thigh. Left hand comes in front of the left foot. Stepping up into half moon on this side. Take multiple movements. Trying to get to wherever you're at with this pose. Right foot comes down to meet the left. Fold forward, pedal up your feet. Time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, take your flow, push back to down dog. Inhale, walk or float, top of your mat. Halfway lift and fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. I'm going to turn towards you so you can see me. We're going to come into tree pose. So ground down through your right foot, pull up on your right kneecap, pull in on your belly button. And then when you're ready, your left foot comes to your ankle, your shin, or your thigh. Once you get your foot placed wherever you're going to place it, bring your hips back in alignment. So usually your Whatever foot you're lifting, that hip is going to try to come higher. So try to bring your hips back in alignment. 
try to push that knee out to the side. And then your hands can be on your hips. You can bring them to heart center. Maybe you grow your tree. Push down through the pinky toe side, or not the pinky toe, the big toe side of your standing foot. And then find one point of focus to look at. And exhale, release. Shake it out. Then we'll set up for the other side. Ground down through your left foot. Pull up on your kneecap. Belly button pulls in. And when you're ready, right foot comes to whatever feels good in your body. Wherever you put that right foot, really, really press it in. You don't have to just lightly place it there. You can press it in to your muscle. Let that be a counterbalance. Then bring your hips back in alignment. Your hands come wherever they work best for you. Exhale, release, shake it out. Come back to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, pull forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank, and hold your high plank. Slowly release all the way down onto your belly. Take rest. Come back to your deep breathing. Slow your heart rate. Take your right arm out to the side and then use your left hand to push you onto your right side of your body. So you can just come up onto the side of your body or maybe you come a little past it. Maybe you even bring your feet to the ground. But the focus is on that right shoulder, really stretching that right shoulder. So your arm comes out to the T and then you're rolled over onto the shoulder. Inhale, come through center. And then switching it out, taking the left arm out to the side. Use your right hand to roll yourself onto the left side of your body. And then maybe you come a little past that. Maybe you bring your feet to the floor. Stretching that left shoulder. You can do this stretch all day. This is my favorite one. Feels so good on your shoulders and your back. Coming back through center. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Elbows squeeze in tight. Legs are long behind you. Push down on the tops of your hands. And then on an inhale, push up into a baby cobra. Squeeze your elbows into your body. Pull your shoulders down and squeeze them together on your back. So your neck should be nice and free. Nothing should be bunching up. Exhale, release down. Take your hands wider than your mat. Elbows are still pointing back, not up. Point them back towards your toes. Legs together, pushed down onto the tops of your feet, and on an inhale, push up. 
into a wide cobra. You should really be able to feel your shoulder blades squeeze onto your back in this one. Exhale, release down. We're not playing. We're not playing. One more cobra. Oh my goodness. It's your choice. You can take that baby cobra again. You can take wide cobra again. You can take a full cobra. Maybe baby cobra with your hands hovering. Your choice. On an inhale, lifting up. If you take full cobra, make sure there's still a little tiny bit of bend in your arms. You don't want your arms completely straight. Exhale, release down. And push back into a child's pose. And push back into a table, or not a tabletop, a down dog. Inhale, right leg rises, <clears throat> setting up for pigeon. Right knee comes towards the right wrist. Right angle comes towards your left wrist. Left leg is long behind you. Hips are square to the top of the mat. Don't fall into that right hip. Keep it up, square, and then come down to your level of comfort. Maybe you stay up on your hands. Maybe you come to your forearms. Maybe you come all the way down. And then without really moving much, just squeeze your knees towards each other. You should feel a lot of activation in your legs if you do that. Activation in your butt. Makes it more of an active stretch instead of us just passively sitting here. Coming up onto your hands, tucking your back toes, lifting your back knee, step your right foot back into that down dog, and then just take some movement, maybe pedal out the knees, maybe lift that right leg, let the right hip release, and then just check in with the body. Does the right leg feel different than the left? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but just taking a moment to notice. On an inhale, lifting your left leg, bringing it forward for pigeon on this side. Taking the time to set it up, knowing that if the stretch feels like a little too much, you can bring your heel closer to your groin. If it's too easy, pull your heel towards the top of your mat, bringing your shin more to parallel. And coming down to your level of comfort, It's a mistake leaving the dogs out. I'm having a dog party over here. Coming back up onto your hands, tucking your back toes, lift your back knees, step back into that down dog. Taking some last movements here, maybe lifting that leg, pedaling the feet again.
And then walking the feet up towards the hands, bending the knees, coming down onto your back, rolling back, bring the knees into the chest, roll around, massage your spine. Then take your left leg long on the mat. Bring your hands behind your right thigh, interlace your fingers. And then trying to straighten your leg towards the ceiling. Push your thigh into your hands so that your arms are straight. And then trying to straighten that leg. If your leg is straight, then maybe you try pulling it in towards the body. Another stretch for the back of the legs. Bend your right knee and release it down. Bring your left knee into your chest. Hands come behind the thigh, interlace the fingers. And then try to straighten the leg as you push your thigh into your hand, straightening your arms. If your leg is straight, then maybe you start pulling it in towards the body. Bend your left knee, send your left leg long, and then bring both legs in, setting up for a happy baby. Push your tailbone down, soles of the feet point towards the ceiling. Really push your whole spine down, feel your whole spine supported, pushing into the mat. Bringing your knees together, opening your arms out to a T. On an exhale, drop the knees over to the right, push through your left shoulder, into that twist. Come back to those deep breaths. Twists help all your organs detoxify and release. So taking those deep breaths just helps the process. Inhale through center. <clears throat> Exhale, drop your knees over to the left, push through your right shoulder. Inhale through center. Take any last movements that are calling to you. When you're ready, find a comfortable resting position. Whatever that looks like for you today. Just finding a place where you can release and relax. Let your practice sink in. Let your body fall heavy. Feeling your breath softening the front side of your body. 
then taking a moment. Give yourself credit. Credit for making time. Credit for showing up for yourself. Credit for meeting yourself where you were at today. And doing what felt good for your body, honoring that. Taking one more deep breath in. And on the exhale, release any tension, any stress, anything not serving you, let it go. Shavasana. Slowly starting to bring your awareness back. Small movements in fingers and toes, and ankles and wrists. Rolling the head side to side. Taking the arms overhead for one last big full body stretch. Rolling over onto one side. Taking one last moment, appreciation for the body and the breath and the earth supporting you. And making your way up to a seated position, bringing your hands to heart center. I thank each of you for making the time come to practice, taking time to move your body and clear your mind. And thank you for trusting me to guide you. I hope the rest of your day is happy and I hope you feel loved. Thumbs to forehead center. Namaste. Thank you guys.